I've been trying a new strategy lately with uh, building my collection and it has been to only play drafts and save all the packs uh, so that I can open the packs after I'm done with the drafting and I think this is the most or the best way to build your collection in MTG Arena. Right now it has uh, swapped over to Rank Draft Dominaria so I was trying to collect War of the Spark boosters uh, and I have gotten 44 in total. I have not opened any boosters. I, I haven't opened any anything from my daily wins or my booster prices in Rank Draft. Um, I started with 40,000 gold and I'm still pretty high, uh, up at 36,000. Uh, I think I did about... I think I did about 10 drafts. I didn't do a lot. I haven't had a lot of time, but um, even the, uh, though, even only with those few, I have uh, gotten quite the, uh, I've gotten quite some good cards. So to see which cards I have in the war set, to filter with S war, and we put on mythic and rare. Uh, I got Gideon, I got two Chandra, two Sarkhan, Teferi, Sorin. See a Tamio. Got a couple of good mythics and rares. And uh, Nicol Bolas. He I didn't uh, I didn't I think I played him in my draft deck. I didn't get to actually cast him. It was quite hard. Um my draft deck with Chandra and Sarkin went pretty good. I went 7-2 uh, with that deck. Uh so all in all uh, right now I've only drafted, I have not opened any packs at all, so all of these are from only drafts. Uh, the good thing about not opening boosters while you're drafting is that you don't have to consider if you have the rare or mythic already. Um, if you are the kind of person to rare drafts. Uh, I tried not to, I did rare draft a little bit. Um, it's hard to not to not do so, uh, but I passed a lot of janky rares. Like you can see, the most of the mythic and rares here are pretty good. Uh, some of them was passed to me late, so I just picked them up just for collection's sake. <clears throat> uh, but most of them are cards that are good in in the drafts. So what I'm gonna do now is open the rest of my packs. The good thing now is uh, with the new system, you do not get duplicates. So uh, I can only open two more Chandras uh, in my uh, packs. I can only open two more Sarkhan, and then it will <coughs> open non-duplicates. So I'm gonna do that and see how I end. Uh, I'm gonna take a print screen here and uh, so I can compare. All in all, I think this is the best way. Like, uh, I didn't... My gold went... I, if I played a lot of more games, if I had more time, I would have gotten a lot more. I'm gonna open one-on-one -on -one pack, I think. See what I get. Yeah, that's a garbage rare. Okay. On to the next one. Also get some... Oh, another garbage rare. That I don't have. So everything here is new. I want something good. Ooh, a god. I did not get... I don't think I got any gods in the draft. I think I got... Uh, yeah, I think I got one Bontu. Those are very rare. Very rare. They're also OP in draft, so... I faced Oketra a couple of times. Last time I actually won against it with Chandra and uh, Sarkhan. Another garbage, garbage rare. Come on, give me something cool. The Elder Spell. Also a garbage card. I heard that uh, a dude invested in the Elder Spell. He bought like 400 Elder Spells, $6 a piece. And... Uh, <laughs> oh, another Sarkhan. Almost a playset. Lost a lot of money. Don't, didn't know what to do with them. I think it's on $1, $2 right now. Mythic, and that's fine. I also have a lot of... Rare and mythic rare wild cards since I'm only playing drafts. It only works if you're really interested in drafts and don't care about. Like, you can still. I still have my decks for playing ranked. Obviously, I don't have any of the new control version. I still have mono blue, mono red, and some old control. Uh, 
control decks. So I'm not worried about that. Like for me, it's only important to get my daily wins. If there are any cool events, I will um, will play. We'll just redeem a couple of cards. Like I have the Esper deck already, so it's only a couple of new cards for playing the new version. So I'm not worried about that. Might play in some of the Eater League tourneys, and it's only there I need the new uh, new cards out of that garbage rare. I already had one of those from my drafts. Lots of garbage, obviously. And some good cards that I need. I need a playset of that to play the new... No, it's not the full playset. This is only two or three copies of the new Teferi. Another god, that's good. A rare card. I also get, ooh, another Teferi. Okay, we have enough of him now. So that's good. Are there any other new cards I really need? I haven't really looked into the tier 1 meta lately. I've been so busy with working on the Eater Hub. So I think I'm gonna do an update on Eater Hub soon too. Another video on that. I'm gonna start doing more videos. I have been slacking off on that lately, but I've gotten in a lot of works. We just released the European prices for our cards on the hub. So they are from Card Market, Ignite Beacon. Ugh. Come on, a good one now. Good. Yeah. Well, since I saved up a lot, I want to open one. I want to not open 10 and 10. Enjoy it a little bit. Enjoy it for 5 minutes instead of 10 seconds, I guess. Spark Double, I think I had two of those. Spark Double is really good in draft. Very annoying to play against. Like I feel like I played against all the rares and I didn't get a lot of uh, great mythics and rares in the drafts, but I feel like I played against them. <clears throat> well, I like my issue with the rank draft with the bots are that you only play against good decks. Uh, you, pl you play against a pod where uh, where the best decks deck of the pod, or you play against the best deck of each of the pods. And I find that annoying. I wish we were drafting against humans, that we were drafting against eight humans. So you can... So there would actually be bad decks too, and not only <laughs> the best of the best. Obviously not everybody is really good at drafts, so not all of them will be optimal, but damn, there's a lot of strong decks in the, in the drafts. When you only have bots. 10 left. Well, I don't, th I don't think I need anything special. So I'm happy with my collection progress. Oh, that, this one is such a beast in drafts. Very good, um, come on. I did not get that a lot of times. Yeah, that's... Not what I want for Constructed. Another god. Oh, she is a bitch. I think she's the best card. Like, she's so broken. Especially if you get her on turn 5. It's so hard to deal with and it generates so much value. I actually got to beat that. I jumped, jumped with... Uh, oh, what's the dude call, called? Pay 3, sacrifice a creature. So I just jumped and sacrificed my creatures with him to block Oketra. And I managed to win in the air with Sarkhan. That was really funny. I think that was the best game in the my best game in the drafts this time. I really need a collection progress count on the sets. I really want that in the game. Like I don't want to use trackers. I don't understand why they haven't implemented that yet. It's such a good thing for like Seeing your progress in in the draft, like seeing the percentage of each each set, and it would inspire more people to buy, use more money, and buy more cards. Actually, so I have no clue why they don't uh, have that as on the priority list. Like a stat. Ooh, that was a very nice mythic. I think that's my second one. Okay, so. How does it look here now? 
off and go to my set and put on the filters. <laughs> one of Ketras, I got one additional Gideon. No Master Krugos, I got another Vivian, another Sarkam. Okay, I didn't have any Lilianas. I wish I had more. Like, she's a good card. I think she's playable in Constructed. We got more Teferis, I'm happy with that. Well, no, I think I have the cards I need. Like, if I would have played prioritize playing more drafts, I think I would have had... Yeah, I think I would jam in a lot more, like, maybe... F I think I would be able to jam in 40 drafts, maybe, with the amount of gold I had. Like, I did, did some... <clears throat> I did a little value drafting, so my de dex wasn't that optimal all the time, so I could have gotten a lot better result and not lose... Uh, so much gold each time, but the ranked drafts are a really good way to, like you win gems, so you can use your gems to, to do drafts too. Uh, really good way to build your collection, I, I think it's the best way. Uh, it's really important that you do not open the boosters uh, when you draft, and you keep them in a pile. Uh, right now, with the ranked draft Dominaria, I already have a lot of, oh, I kind of have I think that's the set I have the most completed cards in. So it's not a real, really valuable for me to do. It's only for fun. So I think I'm now I'm just going to concentrate on my dailies every day. Um, and that's quick. I will always rotate the 500 quests trying to get those 700 quests. And I rotate the one that has the most progress. So I have the chance of stacking up more. For rotating. There are sometimes I've gotten 750 quests. Only 750 quests. Okay, so that uh, concludes this video. Uh, I will do an Etrohub video soon uh, with an update on our new collection system. And I also have working on a brew mode. So look forward to that. And I'll see you guys in the next one.